free. And let's take that away from each one of our, I suppose, our LSA our representatives from the class that we're assuming to be the actual responses. So the first one is going to be 51.3. It's going to be 27.5 minus 51.3 gives us a value of approximately 20, minus 23.8. So that's minus 23.8, okay? The next one is going to be 42.5 minus 51.3 gives us a value of minus 8.8, .8, okay? And actually, we've done these calculations in our, in our previous example, okay? So this becomes uh, 6.2. 72.5 minus 51.3 becomes is 21.2. 87.5 minus 51.3 uh, gives us uh, 6.2. 87.5 minus 51.3, let me do that again, 87.5 minus 51.3 gives us a value of 36.2. So this is 36.2, okay? The next one is 102.5 minus 51.3, 102.5 minus 51.3 gives us a value of 51.2, okay? So 51.2. So now that we have all of our values, what we'll do is we'll actually square them. So we have 23.8 needs to be squared. That gives us a value of, I'm, going to, I'm just going to round this to the, to the whole number now. So this is 566, 566. 8.8 .8 squared, well negative times negative gives us positive, is going to be approximately 77, okay? 6.2 squared is going to give us a value of approximately 38. 21.2 squared is going to give us a value of approximately 449. 36.2 squared is going to give us a value of uh, 1310. And finally, 51.2 squared is going to give us a value of approximately 2621. So that's 2621. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these values here these are the square distances, yeah? Okay, I'm going to take each one of these square distances and multiply them by the frequency. So it's the frequency times this. So it's 5 times 566 six gives us a value of 2,830, okay? It's 10 times 77 gives us 770. It's 15 times 28 gives us a value of... 15 times 28 gives us a value of 570, okay? It's 15 times 449 gives us a value of 6,725. And it's four times, four times 1310 gives us a value of 5,240. And it's once times 2621 gives us 2621, okay? So from this, what we can actually do is we can actually calculate what the what the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared values are, okay? By summing up this column here. So let's do that. It's 2830 plus 770 plus 570 plus 6735 plus 5240 plus 2621 gives us a value of 18,766. So now what we know is this is we now know what our standard deviation is. Our standard deviation now is equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the x bar squared, which is the sum of this column here. All right, here's the sum of our frequencies. Here's the sum of our frequencies times our x minus our x bar squared. So what we have is, we have, th this is equal to 18,766 divided by the sample size. That should be sigma f here, okay? That should be sigma, 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 sigma f minus 1, which is 50 minus 1, which is 49. And it's the square root of that value. So we end up with our standard deviation, s, is going to be equal to the square root of 1807 one sorry 18766 divided by 49 that's our standard deviation so our standard deviation in this case is approximately 19.56 it's approximately 20 okay or let's say go to one decimal place it's 19.19.6 so it's approximately 19.6 is our standard deviation Okay, so we're nearly there now. Uh, what we have is, well, we know all of our sample sizes. So we have this part of the formula here. We now know our standard deviation, so we have this. We know all of our sample sizes, so we have this part of the formula. So the only thing that's missing is the sum of the f's times the x minus x bars to the power of 4. 
Now we have the f's times the x minus x bars squared. So if we multiply these by these squared distance values, it'll give us f times x minus x bar to the power of 4. So let's do that calculation. Now we're going to end up with big numbers here. It's 566 times 2830 gives us a value of, it's 1.6 million, so it's 1601780. We have 77 times 770, that gives us a value of 59,290. We have 38 times 570, and that gives us a value of 21,660. We have 449 times 6735, that gives us a value of 3 million and 24,015. And we have 1310 times 5240. Going to have a huge number here. This is 6,864,400. And finally, we have, we're going to have 2621 times 2621. Gives us a value of 6,864,000. 641. So what we now have is, excuse me, excuse me, what we now have is we have the f's times dx minus x bars to the power of 4. Okay, and this is the fourth moment, yeah, okay. So what we need is we need to sum of them, so we're going to sum up this column here. I'll actually work from the bottom, I've already got that number in my calculator here, so I'm going to add on the next one, which is 6864400. Plus three zero two four zero one five, plus two one six six zero, plus five nine two nine zero, plus one six zero one seven eight zero, gives a value of eighteen million, eighteen million, four hundred forty thousand seven hundred and eighty six. This value here is the sum of the frequencies times the x minus x bar to the power of fours. Okay, so now we have everything. So let's 